it's Chris from LaserLemming.com, and long time no see. Haven't seen you in about a week. I only saw you once last week, but here, I'm back. I'm back. Better than ever. So, Sony. That's what we're talking about today. Sony. Now, a lot of you guys that watch this channel or other gaming channels might not know uh, what's going on with Sony. <laughs> uh, a lot of you just tend to focus on gaming, but there is more to life than gaming, and there's more to life than, you know, all this bullshit we talk about. But... Anyway, Sony, they've been hacked. They've been hacked. And I'm not talking about Anonymous or an, an Anonymous spinoff or Lizard Squad or any shit like that. This has nothing to do with gaming. This is Sony Pictures. They're the people that make all the movies you watch and the TV shows you watch. And uh, they were hacked. They were hacked big time. 100 terabytes of data. 100 terabytes of data were stolen, downloaded illegally. And uh, Sony, I don't know if they still believe this, but initially they believed that this was uh, done by North Korea. And uh, North Korea <laughs> is not uh, the super capable uh, tech... Uh, I don't even know how to put this, but North Korea probably couldn't do this. So in all likelihood, this was uh, China possibly uh, being paid for by North Korea. But North Korea went out and said, you know what, uh, we'd love to take credit for this, but we can't. It wasn't us. We're happy it's happening to Sony, but uh, we, we're not responsible. And uh, they might be responsible. They might have paid somebody. Somebody in North Korea might have paid uh, China or another uh, country to do this. But they're sure as hell not going to take credit for it, especially when they got the FBI on their ass investigating this shit. But uh, the reason Sony believed this was the fault and doing of North Korea was because they had this movie coming out, The Interview, starring uh, Seth Rogen and James Franco, in which they are assigned the task to kill Kim Jong-un, who is the leader of North Korea. And so, you know, with their great leader uh, being portrayed in a way they don't want them being portrayed and possibly dying, they weren't liking that. So, <laughs> uh, Sony thought, you know, Maybe uh, North Korea is responsible. And the hackers, uh, the GOP, I forgot what it is, st stood for. It stood for uh, Guardians of Peace, uh, which is ironic. But uh, they said, you know, don't release this film or we're going to release more data. And most recently, they've stated that uh, on Christmas Day, we're going to be releasing a lot more data. So far, about 25 of these 100 terabytes have been released. And... Shit's been hitting the fan at Sony Pictures. Let me tell you that. Let me tell you that. People are going to be getting fired. Major people are going to be getting fired and made examples of because one of the biggest things they've done here is release private emails between Sony executives. And let me tell you something. A lot of these Sony executives can't spell or write for shit, and they're making a lot more money than I am. So... I don't know how to feel about that. I don't know if it means I've just been wasting my time with well grammar and good spelling, but I digress. Anyway, there's been these emails that have been going back and forth, and uh, the press has been having a field day. They've just been saying, you know, uh, Sony this, Sony that. Uh, Spectre, that's the new 007 movie that's uh, starting production, I believe. The script, a uh, 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 draft version of the script was also downloaded and will probably be released. Now, Sony's going on the offensive here. They're not, <laughs> you know, apologizing too much, at least not yet. Uh, what they're saying is uh, that if you, if you're publishing this shit, we're going to start to, we're going to start suing people because people have been publishing this already, but they're saying, guys, do the right thing, uh, delete any of this data that you have and stop talking about it. But, of course, that's not going to happen. But Sony's saying that they're going to start suing. Which is too bad for Sony because they're not going to, they're not going to win this. They're not going to win this. And it's interesting because Sony's a big company. But, as I've stated in the past, they're a troubled company. You might be thinking, you know, Sony, PlayStation 4, it's kicking ass. It's the biggest console in the current generation right now. That's true. But remember that Sony's a huge company. And, uh... The PlayStation 4 is one of the few areas that they are doing well in. They've slashed most of their divisions in order to uh, get back to profitability. So Sony Pictures, another major division for Sony, uh, it's a very much Western branch here, and Japan has been kind of—they've kind of let them do their own thing for the most part, I believe. 
But with all this going on, I'm sure Japan's taking notice, and I'm sure there's people asking questions, especially when, you know, uh, we, Sony's enlisted the help of the FBI to start uh, figuring out who hacked into their shit. And goddamn, Sony's had some issues with people hacking into their shit. I've already mentioned some of the other things that have been going on over the last, what, three years with Sony getting hacked. But this is, this is a new one. This is a new one. But the FBI, to Sony's credit, did say that this was a very expensive operation that took place. So these people knew what they were doing. Nevertheless, Sony is embarrassed. They got egg on their face. They are... Screwed, kind of. Uh, Amy Pascal, that she's a huge producer over at Sony. She greenlights a lot of movies, including the interview. Is looking like she's probably getting fired, and what she's probably going to do instead of get fired is resign, which is a goddamn shame for her, because apparently she's a very likable person. Yada yada yada. I don't know. Uh, it's mostly over some shit that an exchange between emails uh, that went on bet between her and another producer about. Uh, the movie taste of President Barack Obama got a little bit racist there. So she's probably resigning, probably going to get picked up by another studio a few months down the line. Anyway, I digress. Sony didn't need this right now. I know a lot of you guys think that Sony's just, you know, on top of the world. They're not. They're not. They're doing well in the PlayStation division. They could be doing better in so much more, mobile included, but they're not on top of the world right now. And this was a big punch to the gut. And it's going to cause a big shakeup in the division. I don't think that Sony's going to uh, sell off uh, their huge, huge, huge film industry division. A lot of people seem to think that for some reason. I don't know why you think Sony would do that. All it's doing is shedding light on how, how much like Hollywood is to the rest of us. They're just regular people. They're just assholes like you and me. And... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I'm just kind of... I'm just kind of bewildered by that. I think that uh, you're a little crazy if you think that Sony's just going to get rid of that. You know? They're, they're not. They're not. But what they're going to do is they're going to cut the fat. They're going to uh, lose some major executives, possibly. At least one. Probably Pascal. Uh, just to make an example. I mean, this shit was real. This shit was real. This is a big deal. A lot of people thought that this was just Sony doing... This is what blows me the most. Blows me. It blows me the most. Uh, this is what blows my mind the most. People are saying that this is all a big publicity stunt for the interview. Let me tell you something if you don't know this already. Social security numbers, addresses, names, full details about people, employees, personal lives was leaked, was stolen. And it will possibly be leaked, including, you know, celebrities like Conan O'Brien, Sylvester Stallone. And, I mean, it, it just goes on and on. I'm not just going to tell you every detail about this leak. But, this is real. Sony would never, never, would never even contemplate the idea of doing something like this to promote one movie. A comedy, no less. Comedies do decently, you know, profit-wise. But no, no, no. They want it fuck up their entire careers, their entire company, just to promote one movie. No, this was not intentional, this was not some publicity stunt. This is real. And nobody's happy at Sony. There's stories of people that, you know, uh, they're not getting paid because uh, the payroll's all screwed up now, that details are out, and they just can't get shit done. And... I don't know. I, I'd like to know your thoughts. I'd like to know your thoughts. What do you think about this? How do you think this will affect Sony as a whole? I think Sony's... I think it's going to slow so Sony down a little bit because, you know, uh, they've got a lot of shit to work on. And you like to think of a big monolithic corporation like this as kind of unfallible. Like, you know, nothing's going to stop them. It's just a little uh, crack on the sidewalk you're stepping over. But that's not what it is. These are big people stressing out over big things. And I think it's going to affect their gaming division. I don't know how. Maybe, maybe not. You know, it's uh, Sony Japan probably mostly runs the gaming division. But you got to remember that Sony has a bigger Western presence than companies like Nintendo. So who knows? Share your thoughts. Comment section below. Let me know. Subscribe for more if you haven't already. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time.